All right, you guys, here we are, Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance. We have to report back to Bethel, Japan, which means leaving the netherworld, which we were having a grand old time in here last time. What did we do? Yo, we met Alice. We went on a whole adventure to a wonderland even, but we got to get out of here. Go back to Tokyo, progress the main store. How are y'all doing? I'm already speaking too fast. Let's slow down and chill out. I'm doing good, though. Hope y'all doing good. It is currently Sunday, 6.42 p.m. on a Sunday, and I just felt like playing right now. And then I'm going to eat a little something, shower, and get to bed. Um, what are y'all saying down here? Hmm, I'm sorry. I just got a little dizzy. No, I'm fine. Can't afford to stop now. Can't just leave people there to suffer. Yes. The Prime Minister's doing his best to earn the people's trust. I can't let him fight this battle alone. I'll read one more. Who wants to win? Man. Hmm. We've told the public we're investigating the reason people are collapsing, but how are we supposed to explain oh. this? Our job is to support the people without revealing the truth. Ooh, that's a weird way to put it, but I guess maybe that he has a point. We can't do that and put their minds at ease at the same time. All we can do is rely on Director Koshimizu. The Prime Minister might be... Excuse me, the only one who can handle all this. Oh. Now, since we last played, since I last spoke with you. Do you... What was his name? Oh my god. Do you remember the big demon with the crow wings? I was just thinking about him a second ago by name. Good. He's grown on me. have been wreaking havoc all over Tokyo. While you were tracking down this crow, we've been investigating Josoji Temple and the fortune teller. So quick question. Have we found the crow? Was Mastema? I've got a mind to me. I figured it out. Mastema, I think they've grown on me. I still don't like them, but they're long, beautiful black hair. I've been thinking, like, do I need long, beautiful black hair lately? And I'm like, no, I have an orange beard. I have beautifully dark eyebrows, an orange beard. I do not need long black hair. Mastema's influence. Um, crow. Does Mastema count as the crow because he had those dark wings, or are we still looking for a separate crow entity? But people suddenly started collapsing at an alarming rate. We had to issue a citywide lockdown. You went that far? Yes. Is that that bad, a citywide lockdown? But soon enough, it spread to the neighboring areas. Don't skip ahead. Everybody right now, pause the fucking video. Comment down below. What What are your pl What do you think's going to happen today? Because here's what I think is going to happen. The Kadish 2 are here, right? Over here in Tokyo. They're wrecking havoc, but so as to avoid their wrecking havoc and to avoid them obtaining Magatsuhi, I think we're going to have to watch Mastema turn people into salt. And it's really going to shake Tao to see it in person. It's even affected some Bethel staff. We don't know the exact cause, but for now, we believe it's dangerous to approach the temple. Unfortunately, without knowing why it's happening, we can't respond accordingly. As such, the best we can do is urge the people to keep their distance. I see. No more reports of people turning to pillars of salt, at least. I'll take my mercies where I can. At present, Bethel's at a loss. Without a way to proceed, we were simply awaiting your return. Did you learn anything out there? I like his tie. I'm not a tie person. I'm not a men's formal wear person. We've been over this. So, I'm going to explain Mastema and the crow. So he is the crow, huh? Those damned angels. After all Bethel's talk of protecting the people, they pull this. This makes me happy to hear. I always have this deep set fear that he's like so deeply entrenched in the Bethel world, the propaganda, the systems, the minutia of Bethel, that he is blind to the evils, but it seems he is not. And that makes me happy because when sec people are sexy, I need them to be smart. And I'm so glad he is. And of all angels perpetrator was Mastema. Okay, now let's explain the Kadishtu's plans. So the Kadishtu are using the Metropolitan Government Building to summon a god. If that's the endgame, once they've got all their Magatsui, I'm thinking it might be connected to everyone collapsing on the spot. 
Based on your report, it seems safe to say the Kadishtu are at least tangentially connected to the incidents near Jozoji Temple. If I had to speculate, they might be using some unknown method to drain Magatsuhi at an accelerated rate. Our findings suggest the source of the problem is in Jozoji Temple. Oh, I'll be right fucking there. Immediately, I'm so happy to go. You. I want to do what God. I can to protect the people of Tokyo. That's why I want to keep working with Bethel. Well, with Director Koshimizu. If you want to protect the peace of me, and I'm a people of Tokyo, go away. I don't I enjoy you, and I'm so sorry to be a hater. I'll be counting on you as well. I like his tie, though, is what I was trying to say a second ago. Hey, we need to talk. There's something I need to tell you, Anahobino. Could we head to the dorm roof? Oh, God. What do you guys think he wants to talk about? Listen. Our findings suggest the source of the problem is in Josuji Temple. I'm counting on you to look into it. All right, thanks for the recap, buddy. Ooh! Look, there's a little microphone on this desk. I want to do little, like, intercom announcements. I'm going to go, everybody, there is vomit in the hallway, so whoever had a pickle and ham sandwich, please come and clean up your vomit. Thank you. Um, where am I going? The roof of the dorm. I can leave this way. It's not the right way, but it's the way I ended up going. How y'all doing this beautiful sun? Have y'all ever had turtle chips? I don't care how you're doing, actually. I c actually, it's like a BuzzFeed, you know, BuzzFeed quizzes will be like, list five types of butter and we'll tell you which Disney princess would peg you. Um, tell me if you've ever had turtle chips and I'll tell you if, how you're doing. And tell me what flavors. I've only had two tur turtle chips in my life. The chocolate churro, which is like, why can't I get down here? Okay. Um, life changing, heart stopping, but not like in a negative health way, just like in like a, I don't know, changed my life. And then earlier today, I tried these like chili lime ones and I'm not a chili lime kind of guy, but they just kind of taste like jalapeno Cheetos, but better, lighter, airier, flakier. Where's the dorm? Okay, found it. And turtle chips are great. If y'all don't know what a turtle chip is, it's just like a four layer chip. Very flaky, very puffed corn type thing. I think it is more like a puffed corn than like a chip, like a potato chip. I don't think it's potato. I don't know though. Might be made out of turtles. Dorm roof. God, I had some of those today. Changed my life. So this bulgogi beef, uh, Korean fusion burrito. And I wanted you to be the first to hear my decision. With kimchi fried rice, but that's not important right now. A, a teenager's made up their mind about something. I'm very concerned. It's your decision, babe. I'm going to become a Nahobino. With whom are you going? To, what what demon have you found? Which demon you are the knowledge of? I've been doing a lot of thinking about what I can. Do you think he fuses? With Holy Hayataro. I realized there are so many people out there who are suffering like Miyazu always has. I guess it sounds obvious when I say it, huh? Everyone's just trying to get by in life. Up until now, though, I'd only ever cared about my sister. So I've decided I'm going to try and help the people. Like I've always helped her. Tokyo's where we both grew up, after all. I don't want anyone to have to suffer the way we did. Why do I hate him? He seems decent. Director Koshimizu's told me about Tsukiyomi, a god of Japan's Amatsukami. And me, Tsukiyomi. I miss knowledge. Have I met Tsukiyomi? He said I could become a Nahobino myself and use that power to protect all of Tokyo. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to become a Nahobino. I actually fully support this. One, I want to see more Nahabino in the world. I don't want to be the only one that's a lot of weight on me. Also, Nahabino are cool. I don't know what to tell you. They're just cool, divine creatures, right? And also, I become so sexy when I'm a Nahabino. What if you become sexy and tolerable? The best thing, the best two things a man can be in this life are sexy and tolerable. Not kind, grow up. Not giving, not funny smart grow up who cares there's a billion smart people you know what? i'm gonna say something actually there's a people will be like oh he's so high he's so hot i didn't expect me to care hot people are 
everywhere, bitch. And everybody's hot in the same way. Hot's not hot anymore. If you're hot, you're ugly. If you're ugly, welcome to hot hood. I used to be ugly, so I, I believe I'm welcome in hot hood. We have to play the game. I will get on tangents. Um, sounds just like you. That's a kind of a shady thing to say. What? <laughs> Whatever that's supposed to mean. Now you've got me wondering how you see me. Good. Stay Anyways, curious about my opinions. I need you. That was all I wanted to say. We can I need you to feel submissive to me. So when are you becoming a Nahabina? Like when's the, like baptism? How? What, what's the celebration? Like what gift do you bring? Is there a bris when you? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! If I that's so fun. Can you imagine becoming a Nahabina and your foreskin is gone? Nothing wrong with that. I think there's been a lot of like circumcision shaming lately. <laughs> lately. I don't know. I just feel like people are like, ooh, yum, foreskin. And foreskin's yum. Don't get me wrong. Big yum. Actually, this is kind of the pendulum swinging because for years it was like a uh, foreskin shame. I wish the pendulum would stop pendulating. I wish it would sit right in the middle. Stop being a pendulous nad and everybody can just thrive as what they are. Where are we going? Joe's a G. But that makes me feel better about the circumcision shaming actually lately. Cause like, yeah, we were shaming foreskins. I'm happy with everything. Be careful, young man. I feel a sinister presence ahead. I recommend we fully prepare before going any further. I I don't know what preparing means. Um, save and I mean our MP's not at 100%, but, like, how hard of a battle is it going to be? Let's go find out. I'm not afraid to die. I've died so many times in this game to a stupid monkey. I'll die to anything at this beautiful scene. Hopefully we can find some kind of clue here. Do you feel that, Tao? The power. I can't tell what it is, but it's all around. As though it's in the very air here. I do feel something. Agatsuhi in the air. Uh oh. Oh no. What the? It's, it's like when a lava lamp. Lava lamps are so cool. Why are they like, why do they go out of style? I think lava lamps are so fun. And the ones that are full of glitter. Let me not talk over the scene. They're this so cool though. Is a to trap set here to harvest Mangatsuhi. Why stop us? We destroyed this and we could end their plans. It is How'd they build it? My dear. A swell of Mangatsuhi like that, if you don't know how to handle it, could simply devastate this entire area. Yes, that's fair. This is my only lead on the witches. If you want to get yourselves killed, find somewhere else to do it. Alas, they have managed to cover their tracks rather well. Always such a shame when the prey is wary of their hunters. They cannot resist a prize of Magatsuhi like this. When they come to retrieve it, then we shall make our move. But so, then what? You're using it as bait. But then what do we do with it? If you kill the Kadishtu, then what do we do with this Makatsuhi orb? A trap. But a trap that's still active. It's going to keep harvesting from innocence. Gotta break a couple so legs to make an omelet, baby. My target is the Kadishtu. So the end justifies the means then? As long as you get your kill, you don't care about the people. Now, now, there is no need to take such a tone with us. The trap is only wide enough to catch a few hundred humans. A pity to be certain. But rather inconsequential overall. We're after them just like you. We want the Kaddish to stop. But this? You claim that innocent lives are expendable. But I refuse to believe that's the way! Come on. Back me up, guys. We stop them here. We save everyone! Whoa, my eyes glue. Glowed? Glue? 
Yellow. Wait, why do we all have yellow eyes? Do all demons slash Nahamino have yellow eyes? I need to pay attention. I doubt that's true, but why does she have yellow eyes and I have yellow eyes and he has yellow eyes? And so does Addis. Addis has yellow eyes. Yuzuru, you're not welcome on the team. Get off the team. I'm so annoyed with this. Quit like adding people to my team and fucking up any strategy I could have. I don't, I didn't have any strategy. Okay. What level should I be for this fight? I hope I'm over leveled. Her be- Oh, I'm fighting them. Her feet are out. Um, I'm very worried. I don't know weaknesses. Uh, she seems like she would get hurt by holiness. Critical. No, 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 no. Sorry, I was playing Persona 3 the other day, and to get into your attacks, you hit the X button. That is not how it works in this game. Yutsu, get out of the team. Heavy physical, witness me. Mad Max. I'm gonna use this just because I feel like I want to. God, sorry. Um, let's try this. She is a snake, so maybe she like... Wow, lots of criticals on that one. Big day for me. Thought she'd be weak to ice because she's a snake, but she is not. She's a snake, but she's not cold-blooded. Cold-hearted snake. That song hits. No one wants to talk about that. Everybody talks about it. Why are we getting so many criticals? Oh, I did Omega Tokoroki critical. And I just forgot. I should have just done two moves with Yuzuru then. I don't know why I did charge. Sorry. Or witness me or whatever I did. Bear with me. How do you feel about light damage? She resists electric. Greater effect if critical and it's going to be doubled. Please just fucking... That was decent. I'm really just trying to find weaknesses. What if she doesn't have... I could use... Oh, that was a nightmare. Galvanic Slash. Akatsuhi, what are they going to do with it? He's so fine and she's so fine. It's sick how fucking fine they are. Um, well, I'm worried. Should I just use this? On him, though, because she's... We've almost got her sorted out. Dark, okay, cool. You don't... Does somebody else even have any dark attacks? Sun's Radiance. I mean, Atnis could go. Addis could go for a heal, but I'm gonna be. I shouldn't be reckless, actually. I don't know. I have to figure something out because Addis will die if they land in another attack. They're charging Magatsuhi. Anything is possible. Are you weak to fire? Figured it out. Okay, cool. Go ahead and use an item and heal Addis and hope for the best. Hope it's enough to not, oh god, to not have all of us die here. I'm so worried about like what they're gonna do. Let's go ahead and just get Sukona Hikona up, hope that he can live. Did anybody die? Okay. Oh god. <laughs> oh yeah. 
Cool. Was anybody paying attention to what types of attacks they were using? I was too busy being worried. I need to know what kind of dampener to use going into this next time. I didn't play my cards very well, to be fair. All right, I'm going to go ahead, pause this video, either go sort out a, a plan and start that battle and weaken them and then come back on, or I might go do something else and record another day, but we'll discuss it when I get back. One moment. All right, we are back and we are heading right back to Josuji Temple. I did buff up the team a bit. And by that, I don't mean buff as in levels. I mean, I put a Nancy on the team. I took, what's his name out? Yuzuru, took him out, don't need him, lame. Yoko's here, cause she's got dark moves and fire moves. And if you'll remember, those are the weaknesses we're looking to exploit here. I added a Nancy back to the team as well. Addis, did I take Addis out? We don't need to see this again. Oh no, you'll see who's here in a second. Wish me luck. Pray for me. I don't want to lose again. I took a shower. If you're wondering like, where I went while I'm dressed different, took a shower. Um, and by shower, I do mean a nice leisurely bath. Now, I think she goes down easier, but I think I want to take him down first. Bad idea? I don't know. Where's my volume? There we go. wither i told him to wither <laughs> that's a kind of a metal line um magatsuhi is at max i should have used the critical thing i will use it next round now when they charge magatsuhi he did a strength based attack i believe so maybe physical dampeners when they gather magatsuhi yeah and then when we run out of those, I don't know what to tell you. Now I'm focusing on him, but like, he doesn't have a dark type. Oh, he does. I gave him one. He's negative four on it. He has no business knowing this move. It's not practical. If I was a reasonable person, I would have anybody else on the team. But I'm so loyal to the people I love. And I love Addis. So I taught him a move that doesn't suit him. Oof, that only did 90 damage, but it earned me an extra turn in the press turn battle system as made popular and, you know, existing, probably patented only within Shin Megami Tensei. Oh, oh, dark to all? Oh no, I hope she doesn't reflect that. I don't remember if she reflects that. Oh, I didn't think this through. Oh no. Resist, I don't mind if she resists it, as long as it lands on him and I don't run out of MP completely. And if I remember, their first round of attacks the last time weren't all that strong. Just a bit of damage. I also made Sia, or Nahabino here, um... He resists physical and some other stuff. I changed his affinities, is what I'm saying. Man, I really should just hit her with this. It's really a better use of dealing damage. That's 31 MP, it's not worth it. Because it only did 98 damage, how much would this do? On him. I know I should use it on her, but I'm using it on him. 113, okay, cool. So when I'm not trying to get that extra press turn, we'll just use that. Why did they get an extra press turn? I don't think they just... Oh, he has an electric attack. Ooh. Didn't, didn't build our team around that. Okay, Yoko. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is, okay. Their first round of attacks this time actually did really land. So I was a bit too lackadaisical in coming in here just thinking we'll be fine. Fuck, dude. Okay. Let's go this. Whatever, just use it. There's a chance of insta-kill and striking weakness. Does that apply to Yakumo, like boss fights? 
That seems a little OP, if so. And Yakumo's hard to take down. Maybe I should have taken Nua down first. Maybe I'm a fool for that. Um, we, these, these are all critical, so it doesn't matter which one I hit. Let's go ahead and just throw these out, see what happens. Hit them both. Um, okay, now I do have to heal the girls in a second. And that's going to take some turns. Because I don't have anything that heals multiple people. Which sucks. Okay. Now, this isn't a lot of healing. It's kind of the gag. She's going to die in one hit. She's kind of a nightmare because she's lower level than the rest of us. Yo, the user they gave us is only level like 47. That doesn't seem right to me. But... Is that my fault? Has he joined me previously and I was supposed to level him in at that point? Level him up at that point? Because I don't remember him ever being on the team. You also need to heal, babe. Get you some Ox Bazaar. A Nancy, same for you. And best of luck as well. Because <laughs> I hate when they get a turn. Live, live, live. Everybody live. Okay, he lived. And then we got two turns that time. Great. Somebody at some point has to use a physical dampener. Do not let me forget to use a physical dampener here, okay? Should I have focused on her? The thing is, when we get to her, everybody's got dark moves. Only like two people, maybe three, have fire moves. So I have to figure that out when we get to that. What if he doesn't use a physical move? What if he does the galvanic slash, an electric move? <laughs> After I use a physical dampener, I'm gonna be pissed, dude. Okay, let's go ahead and just get my extra turn here. Okay, now... Who's... If somebody misses, though... And I don't get to use my dampener, so I should probably use it. I think Addis will use the dampener. I'm just going to count on getting all my turns here. And I'm not going to heal anybody. Actually, I'll heal with the Nancy's turn. But... I do have physical damage. Thank God. I didn't check that beforehand. Because I, I don't think I can buy them from Gustav yet, so checking wouldn't have done me much good other than to temper my expectations. Now... You know what? Do damage. Do damage. You could do damage. You know that song is by her. I haven't listened to her in forever. I listened to her so... Oh, they got an extra fucking turn. Eh, loser, now you lost one. Okay, well, shit. Where'd they get an extra turn? We're not winning this time, are we, you guys? That sucks. Um... I'm gonna play this out, see what happens. I'm not just gonna throw it, but I do think it's gonna gonna go. I should have used my critical thingy. Um, no, I shouldn't have. I don't know. I'm kind of desperate. I could swap somebody in and hope for the best, and then use Addis's turn to heal himself a little bit, even though he's for sure gonna die. <laughs> oh man. Okay, who wants to come on out? Azazel's got a fire type move. These are the demons we've got. Um, I don't keep a stock of demons with any sort of strategy, technique, plan. I just have the ones that I have. I hold on to ones I love, but other than that, I'm trying to get a full compendium, so I'm just fusion, fusing up a storm. So whoever is here is just by chance. Azazel's an absolute freak. I don't know if you guys have seen this man. He was in Shin Megami. He was in uh, Soul Hackers 2. Look at him, what a freak, but like in a great way. Now, oh, Azazel got a turn. Okay, um... Could you go ahead and... <laughs> could you hit us with one of these? Thank you, Azazel. And maybe we can do this. Hmm. Them letting Addis live was merciful. They are good people. Sexy, good. Not everybody that opposes you is bad. Jot that down. Should I use the critical? 
Let's do damage, damage, damage. Call somebody in. Heal. Something. Okay. I've got... Do you think we could still win this? That would be crazy. Usually once a decent chunk of my starting roster gets knocked out, I tend to like throw the fight. But where's the tension in that? Maybe I need to stop doing that. Now, how does he respond to fire? He's neutral to it, so I can hit him with it. Now, <coughs> even once we get him down, we just have to get Nua down as well, which that'll be spooky. Also, I have to pause this real quick and go grab my cranberry juice. One moment. Okay, we've got cranberry juice and we've got hope. I actually think I might be able to pull this out. Um, and if I can't, don't tell me. If you don't believe in me, then like get off the channel. You know, what are we doing here? Um, hit a weakness if you would. Please don't miss. Thank you. Now we have to bring somebody in, not being a single person that can do that. So that's this turn. Now, who's coming in though? I'm coming out. Um, let's check your moves. He's got a fire move. What are you weak to though? Electric, that wouldn't be great. It's got that electric move. You're weak to electric too, Fafnir? You've got Agidine though, dude. You might, you might just have to come out. He's almost dead anyways. It'll be okay. Now Mamudo on Mott. We got some good people up in the bank. He resists a lot of things. But he's weak to electricity. <laughs> um, He resists physical, which is kind of cool. But his move types aren't really the most practical for us at this moment. This Harry binaba has got Agudine as well. Um, he's level 35. What are we, who are we kidding? Should I go Fafnir? Or Karasutengu? Definitely Fafnir and like, hope for the best. Okay, Azazel. If you could heal Atis. I guess he heals everybody, doesn't he? That's a a lot of a decent chunk of MP that it takes away, but like I think we can all use it. And then Addis is actually gonna use his turn to heal himself up a little bit more. And hopefully everybody survives the next round of attacks, and then we can do something crazy with a full party and a full Magasuki gauge. Yeah. Heal yourself, babe. You need an ox bazaar. Bazaar. And go ahead. Please don't hit Fafnir with electricity. Don't do this to me right here, right now. No, 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 no. Okay, that's Addis. He can survive that. This'll do. She's buffing her man. We lived. Wow, what a treat, what a dream. He's he's a little too buffed. Addis has a move that removes all buffs. I might do that, but I also might just kill Yakumo. And avoid the whole hassle, you know? I'm like so off to the side in the frame, I'll have to like reframe or something, because I'm leaning, I'm leaning on this desk. When you're not strong, I'll be your friend. Wither. Die, Yakumo. Yakumo, the time has come for you to absolutely die. Don't use an item. He does so little damage with his Mudo, might as well just hit him with a... Uh... I just need him dead, you know? Mortal Jihad is a crazy name for a move. Like, it's cool. It's cool as fuck. Now, <clears throat> I need him dead, though. But I'm gonna need her dead at some point, too, and I think he's on his way out. I think we're gonna be okay. They haven't gathered Magatsuhi in a while. I wonder why. Um, they should if they want to win. He's just got but a sliver of health. Do you think those will be enough to kill him? Let me use a gym. Just have a better chance of him dropping dead right now. Be gone. I'm so happy. I think I can do this.
Hey, you guys might say it's not a hard fight. I don't know. I don't know if it's a hard fight or not. You might look at the way I play this game and be like, what a joke. But like... I win while playing with people that I love and believe in. And I think that's beautiful. And I think beauty is something more rare than technical ability in this world. Do I mean that actually? Because I think beauty is abundant. You ever seen Spring? Go look at Spring. The season Spring. Um, I cry during the spring and I ride a lot because it is beautiful. The autumn though, the autumn's hit and we've talked a lot about autumn lately and I mean every second. Did she gather Makatsuhi? She uses force type attacks, so we'll use a force dampener and hope for the best. Though she does have physical attacks as well. I'd bet money on the fact that I'm going to win this now. But also, I think betting money on yourself is kind of tempting God. So maybe you should never do that if you need the win. But then, if you bet money on yourself losing, you can kind of like hedge your bets and if you lose, you win the money, but you lose whatever the thing that was bet upon, whatever activity was. And if you win, you lose the money, but you win the activity. So, like, I don't know. But where's the fun in hedging your bets? Go fucking crazy. Go extremely one way or extremely the other. Don't play it safe. Have fun, bitch. Um, you're going to use the dampener because your moves are kind of weak at us. I love you so much, but maybe your time on this team is coming to an end. Maybe it's time to retire. Your beautiful long hair, it's like mullet-esque, but it's like long in the front and long in the back, so it's not a mullet. But you style it like pushed back, so it's kind of mullet-esque. Um, what am I looking for? Force dampener. And once again, a bit of hope. Azazel, you know what? You're a freak, but you're doing it today. Also, you might be the tallest person on the team. Some of us are floating in actually Fafnir. If we're measuring from fucking tip to tail, <laughs> Fafnir is gonna be the longest bitch on this day. Fafnir is cool. And I'm actually, let's talk real quick. How do I view my team? That's an X stats. And then I actually wanna pull up Fafnir's model real quick if y'all don't mind. Not you. Him. Now. I have something to say about, I can't rotate him on this field. Damn, you're, this one angle you get. Like, wood, right? Like, hear me out, like, he's kinda hot. Kind of like, like in, 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 in like a Prometheus alien way. And the little heart over his chest is like, passion. I don't know. I don't know how that would work, but like, wood. He seems cool. Also, Fafnir is a name pretty fun. Very few great things have come out of Nordic history. That's not nice to say. I don't know a lot of Nordic history, so. Ignorance is all I have to offer, but um, him, he's great. I believe he's Nordic. Now, I'm doing what? Fire. Let us test you. Okay, cool, we blocked that, so she's absolutely fucked. Sorry, ma'am. I love her so much. I feel bad talking shit about her, but like, I'm gonna kick your ass. I don't need to use the fire gem. I only have one left. I'm gonna just go ahead and like, what if she blocks this? That would be bad. That'd be very bad, actually. Go crazy, take risks. We were just talking about this. Okay, resist is fine. He's... <laughs> Azazel, I'm... Really burning you out. I'm using this Maragi dying on one person every turn, but like it's it's what we're doing. Well, no, don't use my gym. Wait, what's Agi dying? <laughs> Why have I been using Maragi dying on her? Ah, uh, I didn't realize. Don't yell it to me. I wish I could use Mortal Jihad just because it sounds so cool. How do you about light skills? What if she blocks those? She doesn't. Cool. Azazel, hang in there with your MP. We're almost done. Mm. 
we can't let her get another magic attack out then, is what I'm hearing. I'm glad we beat this tonight. Pick up a decent chunk of the video. But you were here beginning to end. There's a lot of fights. Ooh. That was beautiful and dramatic. Um, a lot of these fights I've had to do over and over again, so I bring you in at the last second. I'm like, okay, we're going to beat them, right? You were beginning to end for this one. Beautiful. Please don't die. Oh, he's not dying. He seems like we critical to the story. Time to put this thing in the ground and find a better way. Are we still in the early game? I thought we were kind of early still. Huh, right. He's not going to die. Right back. Stay here. And Nancy's dead too. I love him. Gods and demons both. You said you wanted a world for humanity. But your approach here would have gotten people killed. Why don't you care? I told you. <sighs> the world of humanity has no need for those who side with demons. See, him and I really oppose one another because I'm kind of like pro-demon. I'm pro-human too, though. So explain Nua. Like, explain that to me. Is it love? If I could get, like, a long speech from an adult man about the power of love and what it means to love something before he passes, it might be worthwhile. He makes a good point. I love when men talk about love, you honestly. Hate people who side with demons, but you're fine with using their power yourself? Sounds a lot like an excuse. So that you and Nua can be together. Love doesn't need an excuse. You're just a hypocrite. I'm tired of her being edgy. Not right now. My favorite man is dying. <laughs> really? Live. 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 Oh! <gasps> Oh, are they about to become a Nabino? In my vision, none. This is not a man talking about love like I wanted it to be. Yakumo. So dramatic. That one hurt. Fucking hot. Why are they so hot? Oh, like, why are they so hot? Oh, oh this is a big win for me. Sexy and living. Humans need the will to survive at any cost. And those who lack that strength of will no longer deserve to live. <laughs> He's perfect. They're perfect. I don't know what to tell you. Wow. I managed to shut it down, at least for the time being. Hopefully that'll mean no more victims. What do you mean shut it down? How do you shut it down? Did you unplug it? Bethel can take the reins from here and figure things out. Let's head back and report to the director. I'm gonna be wants to have a chat. Not right now, I'm gonna be. We need to heal. Like, Zazzle has no MP, and all the girls are dead. Oh, the girls came back to life. Why'd they bring everybody back to life, but they didn't heal everybody else? I'm gonna keep a Nancy in the party, because he belongs. Um, who else was in the party before? Hmm, Sakuna Hakona. Level 70, Jesus Christ, he's out-leveled me. Fafnir's so cool. Um, I'll put the party back to this, but... Fafnir might have a place on the team here soon. I don't know. I like to use people that I love, but I also have to be somewhat balanced. Where do they want me to go? What are we doing, y'all? Report to Bethel, Japan. Ah, got it. Oh, at... Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sorry. 
thing about having a decent amount of hair on your upper lip is like beverages love to just go in there. And I, I can't explain it. Like, let me think about it. I've never really thought about it. Oh, it makes all the sense in the world. Okay, because obviously when you sip something, you're, the way I sip something, my upper lip goes over the glass and then liquid obviously hits that. So the mustache is always wet after I drink something. So I have to go like that and I feel like a nasty bitch. And maybe I am. And like, what's wrong with being a nasty bitch? New was a bit nasty, but like in the best way. So like, why not me? You're back. I'm back. Yes, sir. We found a trap at Josoji Temple that was set by the Kadishtu. Is it Kadishtu or Kadishtu? I feel like everybody does it differently. Temporarily disabled it. So this would be the time for Bethel's researchers to investigate. How did you disable it? I don't understand. Understood. I'll mobilize the Japan branch immediately. No sign of the Kadishtu, though. It's entirely possible they'll show up later. How far no, into the game are we? sure to prepare a security detail. We'll also work on countermeasures to draw the Kadishtu's attention. I have this thing with games, not Persona games. I know when a Persona game is coming to an end, and thank God, because they're always 900 hours. But... I have this thing with games where I will always think I'm, like, in the beginning of the game. Like, the initial just building action. And then they'll, like, suddenly climax and end. Like, even with games like Xenoblade 3, where I was, like, probably 80 to 100 hours in, right? I don't know, maybe 70. 70, 80 hours in. I was still, like, ah, we're still in the beginning, yeah? No, bitch. Shit has been developing for 70 hours. If I was watching a movie and I was 70 hours into a movie, I'd be like, please God end. But video games are special. As for you, the saint and Hiromine, could I ask you all to go back to Shinjuku? If the Kadishtu aim to use the Metropolitan Government Building to summon a god, then odds are you'll find them there. People keep talking about that building. We have yet to go. If you encounter them, don't hesitate. Engage on sight. Understood. Is Yuzuru not coming with us? He's not welcome. He's a good guy and he's stop being hateful. Joining me in tracking down the Kadishtu. We'll be sweeping other areas as we make our own way to the government building. If we don't find them, that's where we'll rendezvous. Okay. I'm sorry my mic's just like in shot all the time. That's a lot of money. One I thought it was 150. Still a lot, 15,000. I'm not going to lo look a gift horse in the mouth. We need new metaphors. Like, how about instead of look a gift horse in the mouth, how about, how about like, don't spank a hot stripper on the ass? Like, just appreciate getting to see it, you know? Plague be gone. Let your harvest be plenty. I got a new skill to show you. She's a healer. She's a runner. She's a Torex. Oh, yeah, I got rid of something. Um... When something's unique, I really like to keep it around. I'm never gonna use her. You don't need this. Also, why would you have a strength-based attack? <laughs> like, your magic's higher than your strength, babe. That's okay. Now we got Kadishtu Showdown to look forward to. It's like the Texas... What's the Texas hoedown from Hannah Montana? I don't know what it's called. I didn't see the movie and I didn't really watch the show because I was a bit too old at that point. Personally, Listen. any age can watch it. That's it. It will be joining me in tracking down the Kadishtu. If we don't find them, we'll rendezvous with the government building. Okay. Oh, I wish I wasn't just a boy. I wish I was a man and we could be men together in this forever. I don't even need forever. Forever is tired. Uh, who needs forever? Not me. I just need a little something. <laughs> just anything a little something something forever is beautiful but like forever is tired like it's a tired concept i think if forever is a god that god is tired it's holding a lot of things it's breaking a lot of promises does forever break promises or do we break the promises that we place upon forever where are we going <laughs> i need to stop asking questions and just play the game ah to the metropolitan building we're going to the moma the underworld moma and it hit that uh hit that ley line though i'm so excited to go to bed tonight if you can't tell i 
I changed rooms around and you might think, wow, that room looks so different. That's because it is a different room. So my bedroom's in a different room. This is a different room. Um, so I'm so excited to go to bed in my comfy little bed in my comfy new room. It's so cozy. And I'm going to go to bed at like nine o'clock and I'm going to like be asleep at 930 and I'm going to wake up on time. and I'm gonna have a great day tomorrow and I'm going to live a perfect little stinky faggot life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so we're trying to get to a little yellow marker. Kind of looks like a candy corn, but candy corn does not look like that. But if candy corn looked like that, then that's what a candy corn would look like. Jimmy crack corn, and I don't care. Slow your mind down, babe. I'm thinking too fast. I saw this thing the other day. This person said about how, like, I don't know, little gay people just be saying stupid stuff. He said, you're twinking out loud. And I said, I hate... References to twink, bear, otter, gay culture, all that. Twinking out loud's funny. Can't deny it. My bitterness cannot even deny. Whoever's growling at me, go fuck your mother. Y'all ever seen The Exorcist? I have not. I don't watch movies. Um, I would like to hunt me, Tom. I can do that in bed for 30 minutes. You might think, Xbox in bed? How do you do that? It's called a little thing called... It's called... What they call it is... What... It's called a little thing, crazy little thing called love. No, it's called uh, the little streaming thing you can do. It's like a PlayStation Portable, but on all your devices. I have a, a hacked Switch OLED. I have a few Switches. I've got a Switch Lite, not hacked. I've got a Switch Regular, not hacked. I've got a Switch OLED hacked, and I've got a Switch Regular hacked. It's a mess in this house. And that's my Switches. Garrison has his own Switches in the house as well. So if you ever want to rob a house, like, come to mind if you want a few switches. Just, like, don't take my main OLED. It's got, like, a Kirby flipper on it. It Just don't take it, okay? Um, I need to play it a map. I need to plan a route here. You know what? I would have been better off going to the other ley line. I think Alice is actually waiting at that ley line to, like, join us, if I want her to join us. But I really like Sakona Hikona. So we're not going to go ahead with that. But I really... That Alice moment last time was, like... I almost felt like a different game. God, go, go. Hey, babe. Hey. Hey, tits. He doesn't really have, like, big tits. He just has, like, nicely formed body. Oh, don't you run from me. I don't care if you run from me. Was I in the middle of saying something? Sorry if I was, because I've lost it. Have I gotten that ley line? Yep. Okay. You may notice I've explored a lot more of this map since the last time we were here. It's because the other day, I was just running around getting everything I could. It was so fun. This area is actually kind of crazy. Like, navigating it is a little wild. Sorry if you want more exploration on camera. I would do it. But it's not fun to do on camera for some reason. And also, you don't need to see it. It's not the most interesting. Like, buy the game. Maybe you see me go through the story. Trust me, you're not getting the full experience. Go buy the game. Go play the game. The actual gameplay is fun. Because some RPGs, you're just putting up with them to get to a beautiful, beautiful story. And I'll do it. I'll put up with a boring-ish gameplay for a great, great, great story. Great, great, great characters. Now, what's going on over here? I've never been over here. What's that yellow thing? Let's go grab that. But, um... Nah, this game feels good to play. Looks great. Even though... What, one thing about recording is because I record in 1440. I'm playing this in 1440 on a 4K display. Less than ideal. When I play this without you guys, no offense to you, love, love having you here. But when I play this without you guys in 4 count of 4K display, it's such a joy. Whoa, Koshimizu and Da'a? I don't think we've ever... Whoa. I don't think we've ever seen him down here. You gonna be... You okay? A moment. Bethel's main force is focused on slaying the Demon King. And with his extreme methods, we can't reliably trust Mastema either. I don't trust Mastema in the slightest. Our only choice is to protect Tokyo from Takadishu on our own. Those demons are exceptionally, exceptionally shrewd. We can't be sure how they'll come at us next. Proceed with the utmost caution. Alright. Now, what'd y'all do here? 
these things are kind of an abomination, to be fair. A little bit too much of everything. It's like the demon buffet. It's like they got a little bit of too much of everything. Jack of all trades, master of none. I realize something in life. I'm not great. I'm not phenomenal at anything, but I'm really good at... E I'm pretty good at everything. Really good at a lot of things. But the best at nothing. And I'm more than happy with that. I'm flexible. The Kadish to... Uh, what's this fucking... The Kadish to harvesting, harvesting Magatsuhi from humans so they could summon a god. They were even willing to harm innocents to do it. What kind of god could desire such cruelty? The people are turning on Bethel. Whatever it is, I'll probably end up only cause it'll probably only end up causing even more suffering. Yeah. After what Miyazu said, I realized something. This whole time I'd been protecting her to save Tokyo I've been trying to save Tokyo in order to protect her. Jesus Christ. But things are different now. It's not just my sister anymore. I want to protect all the people of Tokyo. And to do that, I decided I would become a Nahabino. I somehow had forgotten he said that. I want to see what that looks like. Who do you think he fuses with? Oh, he told me. Somebody I'd never heard of. Okay, so we're Magatsuing where? I should have healed up our MP at a ley line. There's a ley line right over there. I'm so happy. The beautiful demon solved all my problems with their fortune telling. She must be a goddess. Who? Oh no. Oh, and a full moon at the same time. That was a nightmare. Uh, I don't remember all their names individually. Beautiful. <gasps> I did not anticipate the system at Josoji Temple would be shut down. I'm sorry. Oh! <gasps> Red eyes. The Kadishtu. Indeed. I am Agret of the Kadishtu. I have also been called Agra the Fortune Teller. Oh, he was talking about you. Nice to meet you, Agret. Hi. Your beautiful red eyes are very beautiful and unsettling. All those people, you made them all sick. It was the most efficient way to gather Magatsuhi, though I admit some did not handle it so well. Rest assured, it was calibrated quite precisely so that no one would die. I took pains. They seem decent. Our goal is not to take lives of the innocent mortals in this realm. We simply wish to harvest Magatsuhi. See, they're not all evil. They show up at the temple to collect. Was it because Yakumo was there? <laughs> he is rather frightening. Right in the best way. I admit we do wish to avoid him. But there was no need to go. It was simply an excess. Aishith, Nama, and I, we have already gathered the necessary Magatsuhi. The realization of our vision is within our grasp. Aishith, Nama, and her. Quad is to, Quad is to make me think quad. That's only three. World enveloped in the embrace of the will of the Kadishtu. You were too late and your efforts for naught, though you did try so very hard to stop us. Regardless, I don't very much care for how you disrupted my precisely crafted design. You're gonna have to get over so it, babe. I shall dispense a punishment. May your existence be lost to darkness. Don't wish that upon- No, 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 don't make it dark. Darkness in video games scares me. No! This is not too bad, to be fair. I hate water in video games. It scares me and I hate darkness. When I was playing Pokemon as a child, I was in the first grade, and they said, use Flash in this cave. I said, I'm stuck, I'm stupid, and I'm scared, and it's dark. That was a nightmare. Pokemon Yellow, try and make a child play Pokemon Yellow when you're... They give you an electric type, and then they just shoot you over to, like, any, like to a rock-type gym. I'm in the first grade. What do you mean you want me to beat Brock? I never beat Pokemon Yellow as a child. I never got past Brock. I had blue and red, played through those. I had all of them. I was not rich growing up. My father bought my Game Boy used. 
and it came with a bunch of games and they already had save files on them too but i reset them because i was a smart first grader smart enough and um so i don't want y'all rumoring flapping your lips about oh he grew up with money not a chance i had a mother who was a stay-at-home mother and perfect and a father who was did not go to enough school to be a sergeant uh an officer in the military so he was just at his peak a gunnery sergeant okay he wouldn't want to go higher anyways it seems miserable and political up there how long do you suppose you will last before the unending torment drives you to madness gonna ruin my life she's gonna ruin my day who's chasing me oh it's her that's very scary she's just floating behind is she gonna initiate a fight because i'm not doing that tonight let me heal up and save i'm gonna see what happens if we collide if we run run crash into you what is smash burger people talk about smash burger smash burger i used to live by a smash burger and where'd she go where'd she go Would you like a good dream? <gasps> she's very so if she runs into me i just assume that's like the end right it seems like a run away from the girl type beat don't don't you have found me a fight here now a calamity babe Calamity. A calamity indeed. That's three dashiki or whatever her name is. Oh god. What are y'all weak to? Okay. What's her name? Dakini. Oh my god, I obliterated her. Okay. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Didn't mean to fucking absolutely ruin your whole life. Do I know what you're weak to? Fire. Fire. Well, I don't really have any fire moves on him, so... Eat this. I do need to be getting to bed here soon. So what we're going to do, actually... <laughs> we're going to let that girl run into us next time we see her. But also, if she kills me, then that's going to undo everything I do in the meantime. So that'll suck. Kaiwan. I saw Kaiwan again in the distance. Hello, Kaiwan. Should we make it to the next point we're supposed to get to? I really want to be in bed in the next, like, five minutes, though. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm having fun. We're not gonna beat this game before October 10th when uh, Metaphory Fantasy o comes out, but like the more I play it, the closer I do get to beating it, and I'm in no rush to finish it because I'm having fun. But it does like make my game schedule like less packed to have it done. So I don't know. Positives and negatives, you know. It's like a battery. Alkaline battery. Oraba's essence. All right. Hello, I want to know what happens, but then I lose my essence I just got. I actually will not be running into her. I actually refuse. I'm just going to have to remain curious. Enough calamity. Oh, I can take him out. He's cool. What do you want? Ice? Consider it done. I love having Sakona Hikona on the team. Or like even just as like a as a guide, is that what they call them? Guides? Yo, they are adding more guides to this game. I don't even know who all's in the game as it is, because I haven't beaten it yet. But them adding more is cool. One of them looked really cool. I don't remember which one it was though. Oh, it was I think it was um Mac and Come, Fionn McCamille. Camille. I think it was him. I even went in a full circle. No, all right, I'm going to save. I'm going to run into that woman. I need her to spawn real quick. But if I can have Fionn, Mac, and Come lead me around, I'll be very happy about that. And hopefully I can do that before I beat the game. Because once I beat the game, I don't know if I'm coming back. I will. I will in my personal time. Definitely be coming back. 
This is my favorite game ever made, tied with Xenoblade Chronicles 3, as I've told you many a time here. So, this is a game I'll probably be coming back to for the rest of my life. Which is why I'm so glad it got a super modernized version, and not just the Switch one. Because it's like, now I can really spend time with it in like a higher quality, more beautiful- Whoa, beautiful, definitive. Was that her? I should let her run into me. I didn't hear her spawn. What happens if we run in? Are you an easy fight or a hard fight? Why is there no spooky music? Can I run? Run. Okay. Oh, she's got skeleton feet. <gasps> um, do you, do you have skin? Are you bones only? Bones only girl? I'm going to run. I just want to see what happens if I ran into you and it's a battle. I don't need to know how you fight. That part's not so important to me. I do want to get to bed here soon, though. Hello. You and I could be friends, Kaiwan. You're kind of my type. I don't know why we're out here fighting. Can't climb that, yeah. No, no, no. Smash into you. Why is that song always on my mind? Oberon's essence. Who's over here that wants to chat? I can't get up there. This seems like a broken... I have to go around to get over there. Boo. Okay. It better not be a fight, babe. Thank you. Yeah, go around. It's crazy, you're just a skeleton girl. I didn't even realize that in the cutscene. I need to learn to be more observant. Observant. Absorbent and yellow and porous is he. I want people to say that about me. I want to be observant and absorbent and yellow and porous. Is me. Like, I want to be observant and yellow and porous is, is me. Let's go ahead and go. Ooh! Go ahead and grab. I don't know why I'm so afraid of the enemies as if I couldn't just fucking, like, easily body them. Grab this. Oh! <gasps> me, man. Me, 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 man. Me, man. Is that the ley line I'm by again? Yeah. Um, I'm not even gonna save. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. I just have to trust myself. Trust my gut. I would like to say intuition is stored in the balls. But then how do women have such it in such great amounts? I think women have balls and they just hide them. I don't want y'all coming at me saying it's called ovaries. Oh, fuck. He said you better save. Man. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I can save anywhere in this game. I don't have to go to a ley line. The modern conveniences. And we're actually going to stop here. And next time we're going to see what the fuck's going on over here. We're going to see who the fuck thinks they can beat my ass. And who the fuck. <gasps> we're not done yet. I bet. I bet Algami's got some beautiful words to say at a time like this. Let's see. And then we'll close out this video. Um... What? Amma B. What's up, Amma B? Hey there. Life comes at you fast. Better take this just in case. You got more to say. I was just mucking around at the bottom of the sea when I heard some weird organ music. Now who is playing that ding-ding church organ like nobody's business, I thought. And I swam up there and there you were. Oh, like when I fuse demons and I sit there with my circular organ, it's I don't know if it's metal, but it's pretty fucking cool. I'm gonna talk to him, because I love him. Is it truly possible for a god to be all-knowing and all-powerful? You can hoard all the knowledge in the world, but inevitably, you're bound to be missing something. Food for thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he's choking himself. Sometimes at work, when I'm focused, I'll just go like this, and I'll sit like this, and I'll go like this, and I'll be like this. I'm like, does it look like I'm choking myself at my desk? Like... The, the 
little ropes, ribbons tied around his legs are so beautiful and graceful. He was so cool. I need to be as beautiful as him. How do I achieve that at this point in my life? I used to be that beautiful. How do I get it back? Though constantly under threat by many powerful demons, you have nonetheless accomplished many great deeds. You may not reach the physical height of some such demons. You're a... M slur. <laughs> Is midget a bad word yet? I feel like it's going to be one day. I just asked because I went to a school growing up, elementary school, and I was only there for two years. Two and a half years. Uh, we were the Putnam County Midgets in Unionville, Missouri. I don't mean that in any offensive way, but it's never really been challenged. But also, it's the middle of nowhere, so like, <laughs> not the most like open-minded, um, avoiding hurting others type people, so I don't know. Oh, he trusts me. And his stats are up. He's so pretty, dude. Most impressive. He, like, glows. He's like a golden man. What do you want? Severe dark attack. I could have really used that a moment ago. Um... I never used this, but you do have plus six on it. Plus three. I like how he resists everything. I'm actually going to keep all those. I don't really use you for physical attacks. You possess a sharp, unwavering gaze. It is more piercing than those of any demon lurking in the netherworld. Kiss me, then. Okay, now we'll talk to Algami and get out of here. I need to go to bed. Yes. After so much time alongside you, I think I have a better grasp on the workings of the human heart. Even taking action in another's name isn't guaranteed to make that person happy. I understand that pain now. I would rather remain I would rather you remain shielded from the pain that Yuzuro and Miyazu Atsuda felt. What do you think? That's why I want to talk with you and make sure you're I'm fully aware of how you feel. Oh, I'm gotten stronger. Hey. Alright. Thank you, Algami. Um magic up, because I do a lot of magic attacks. I know that Nahabino is probably better as a strength build. I do not care. My agility is a little too low. If you watch my first playthrough of this on Switch, Canon of Creation storyline, you see I gave a lot of points to luck. I didn't understand that, like, maybe I don't need high luck. I just am a lucky person, and I was trying to make it reflect me. But we've been avoiding it this time. <laughs> Angels should protect humanity, yet an archangel is responsible for turning innocent humans to salt? Is that truly their aim? Stop the Kadishtu's plans by any means necessary. Even such brutal ones. Hmm. Either way, we can solve all of our problems with one fell swoop if we simply stop the Kadishtu. For now, it seems we have no choice but to do as the Archangel says. How much want a bag do something different than what they say? He's got a lot to say today, hey? By the way. What sort of life did you live before our meeting? Considering you've never had to fight for your life before this happened, you seem startlingly well adjusted to it. <laughs> Is it a side effect of having fused with me? Hmm. I'm not sure myself. I gave him a chuckle when I delivered that line. He would not chuckle. That is not a man who chuckles when he speaks. All right, I'm going to go. I can't save in here. Isn't that so crazy? Very bizarre to me. But I'm going to go. Thank you for hanging out. You guys have a good one.